Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. I love it when people do it. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining us today. We are live here at Dice Tower Con 2018, bringing you board game coverage all weekend long. But first up, who are we? I'm Matt. I'm Ann. We're Twist Gaming, and we're joined here with Andrew from USAopoly. Hi. I, I want to do that. I'm Andrew. There okay, well, let's do it again. <laughs> all right. I'm Matt. Oh, I'm oh. Ann. Oh, which way are we going? I, oh, I'm sorry. Let's twist first yeah. and then... Yeah, all yeah, right. Yeah. All right. We'll do it. Ready? One, two, three. I'm Matt. I'm Ann. And I'm Andrew. There we go. I love yes. it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Andrew, we've had a pleasure of showing off a bunch of USAopoly games on our stream. We've got a bunch more coming down in the yes. pipeline as well. Yes. Uh, and I see you've brought a couple games to show off here today uh, from Dice Tower Con. So... Let's just jump into the meat and potatoes of things here. Great, absolutely. So I don't know if uh, all your viewers know this, but in addition to doing a lot of licensed games, USAopoly does signature, standalone, non-licensed, non-themed party games. So um, the one we're probably best known for is Telestrations. Mm -hmm. um, we've also put out games like Wonky and Lift It and Rollers. And we've got two new party games coming out this year. Actually, both are available now. Um, one is great for families, and one is a little bit edgier and for adults. So I'm just okay. going to jump in here and say that in a lot of our party session, party gaming sessions that we have uh, with the Twist crew, Telestrations and Lift It typically make their way out at awesome. some point Oh, yeah, in time. but we don't play yeah. Lift It like it's supposed to be played. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you play it the way you enjoy it, yes! and we're just happy that you are enjoying it. That sounds good to me. I, I, I totally understand. I know a lot of people don't want to bother with the board and stuff and they just like to race and you know we work in teams with always, always at the heads always, head always the heads always in teams yes. always the most difficult <laughs> ones he gets it, it. Is a very oh yeah game. i understand <laughs> cool so um do you want to get blank slate then okay this is a great question and i'd be happy to walk you through it it'll take you about 30 seconds to learn, and um, it couldn't be any easier, but it's also really a ton of fun. So the way the game works is each player is going to start with a blank slate. Um, you know what? I better make sure I give you the purple Thank one. Thank you. Of course. And here I'll take this orange one. So it plays up to eight players. Okay. Uh, everyone's going to also get a dry erase marker. Okay. There you go. There you go. And we've got this scoreboard here that we can use to keep track of where we are at because the first player to fill in the entirety of their row on the scoreboard is going to win this game. Okay. And it plays as simple as this. I'm going to take out a card here, and it's going to have a single word and then a blank. So let me show that off in sure. the, uh, the close-up camera here. So silent, blank. I like the way you do that, very much like a game show. It's silent, like the match game. blank. Yeah. <laughs> I used to watch the match game all the time, so you know. That was fantastic. <laughs> so the way the game works is each player is going to, on their blank slate, fill in the blank and write down what they would use to complete that phrase. Secret? So Secretly. It should be a word? It's a, it should sentence? be a single word. Okay. So everything is designed to be blank slate, word, word. So just a single word to right, complete to that phrase and do it secretly. Steal new marker. Oh. There we go. Okay. All right, right then to one. put it face down so that nobody else sees what you've written. Okay. Okay, and then we can all reveal. Oh! Oh, I did this wrong. Oh, oh. That what did you do? Don't worry about it. Okay. I'm curious as to what you did now. <laughs> I drew a picture. Oh, this is not... <laughs> uh, you're trying to play blank slate <laughs> illustrations. <Yeah. laughs> okay. okay. All right. Is that what you have written? Yes. You went? Okay. Yes. So we, we all revealed the same thing. Your so the is much nicer than mine, so I'm just going to oh, go ahead okay. and do that. So <laughs> we all picked night. But somebody could have said silent shadow or silent movie. Whoa, silent right, movie. exactly. Um, you're going to score points based on how many people you match with. If okay. you match with exactly one other person, both of those players are going to get three points. If you match with more than one other player, so the three of us all matched, we would all get one point. Oh, so we would okay. mark one in orange, mark one in purple. So you want to match with people, you want to match with a bunch of people. You do want to make at least, because if you match with no one, no points. Exactly. Right. So you want to come up with a clever answer, but maybe not the most obvious answer, because you're going to score more points if you can think with just one other person in mind. So you want to try another one? Yes. All let's right. do it. I, I feel like this would be a game where Josh and I mind meld with each other <laughs> and come up with the most ridiculous things. <laughs> but as long as you're both coming up with that exact same exactly. one thing. Okay, here you go. There. This is a good one. So this one has the blank in the front. And some of them will have blank and then a word. Some of them will be a word and then blank. So this is blank story. So everybody write down. 
Blank story? Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 And put it face down until we've all got our blank slate filled out. Okay. All okay. right. Are we ready? Yes. We'll reveal. I put never ending. Bedtime. And I said, and I said toy. So none of us matched with anyone no. in this case. So none of us would get any points in that case. But if, again, if I had said Toy Story and you had said Toy Story, we would have both gotten three points. You know, if I started writing Toy Story. And you thought it was, you thought it was too obvious? I, th I did. I did. So you want to try one more? Yes. Yeah, let's All right. One let's more. try one, one more. I can't end on no, no, no one match. Yeah. I really thought somebody else was, especially because we're here in Orlando yeah, and no, Disney right and Toy Story point. Land just opened. Oh, here you go. Blank flow. flow. Blank flow. I don't. Just write what you think. Okay. I know I said one word, but, you know, if it's like two words or if it's a short phrase or something that's hit, hyphenated. Hit, nudge, nudge. <laughs> <laughs> I have no. Anne's going to slap me for this one. All right. I've got one. I more. really. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes. Yep. One, two, three. I put heavy. I knew. Oh, did you say water. hustle? Of water. Oh, hustle and flow. Hustle and flow. So I almost said hustle and flow. See? <laughs> <laughs> all right, one more. One more. One more. One more. <laughs> I got so we all got no points. And obviously, w it plays up to eight players. When you start adding players, you're going to have more people more match. matching. Yeah. Um, but it plays, you know, perfectly well with three. You're just you're going to try and just match one other person, and then that third person is going to be left out. All right. I feel like. We can get this one. Somebody blank is going to fill in the blank here and match. Blank Guys, guard. If you don't, I'm going to be so disappointed in you. <laughs> All right. All right, ready? One, one two, two, three. Midguard. Midguard. Lifeguard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I guess I disappointed. No. Well, <laughs> That's you okay. Were you, so you guys. Of the box. All right. What, out, lifeguard when we're sitting out here by the pool. We're nerds. <laughs> I, I am too, but you know, I just thought of what was front and foremost in my mind. So you guys would both get three points in that case. Oh yeah. And I would score no points. So you'd be well on your way to winning. First person to score 25 points wins the game. And that's awesome. blank slate. This Fantastic. is um, twenty-five dollars, and it is available. It's launching exclusively at Target, so it is available at Target now, okay. and then it's going to be um, available widely, um, probably towards the end of the year and to next year. So right now, you can check it out exclusively at Target, and then um, if you want to wait, you can keep your eye on it at shelves later on in the season. Fantastic. Uh, what's the playtime on this one? Uh, it plays. What does it say on there? I mean, it's like half an hour to an hour. Probably a little yeah. bit faster if you got more people because mm -hmm. the points are accumulating. Yep. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So very good. Absolutely. Plethora of cards in there, or pens in there. Yeah, it's dry got erase markers. We just nice. found the the one dry so one. Changing gears a little bit, I'm seeing a well, it's very thematic because we're in a hotel here. That is true. Uh, we've got the little door hangy. Uh, what what is this? This is a game called. Privacy. So let's slide this Ooh, out of here. Oh, I'm missing one too. That's okay. We can just get that all in there. I'll toss it off to the side here. Perfect. That works. Whoops. We're losing stuff left and right. It's okay. Mostly our minds. So this is Privacy. This is our new adult party game. This is definitely 18 up. Definitely a game for adults. Okay. So what we have here, we do have a fun little door hanger that you can uh, put outside your door if you're. Uh, Wanting to make sure that Do the kids don't uh, progress. <laughs> don't interrupt. I love it. Gameplay in progress. We've got even oh. the oh, that's <laughs> huge. Even the score tracker. That's awesome. All right, we have this ballot voting box here, okay. which you'll see how this is going to work Great in just a second. In this. Thank you. Yeah, I really have to tip my hat to our graphic design team, especially the lead designer. Um, whose name is Arlo Hitzman. He uh, did all the design work on this game, and everything really turned out fabulous. He really put a lot of um, great attention to detail into all the components, I think, as you will see. So let's make sure there's a purple one here for you. Thank you. Do you like to pick another color? I really want purple. Yeah, um, sorry. I'll take a white one, because you know, that's our secondary color. Here, fair so enough, fair enough. Know. And I'll go ahead and take this yellow one. All right, so everyone's going to get this answer dial. OK. And the way this game works, there I are always realize question how, cards. How I'm a child. The moment I get something that spins, the first thing I want to do. Start playing with it. Start playing with it. Absolutely. It has that fun, you know, tactile feature to it. Absolutely. All right. So let's 
get everybody starting with their scoring chip. Yeah. Purple, Purple for Ann, white for white me. For me. And you're gonna be I'm yellow. gonna be yellow. There you go. It was stuck. And this game plays up to ten players, as you can see. Oh, so nice. it's great for a nice big after hours party. Okay. So I haven't looked at any of this content, so I have no idea what's going <laughs> to pop up. I just want to let you know that there are some edgy and racy questions here. Um, so we're going to flip this over, and then the back of this is going to tell us which of the questions we're going to read. So if you pass so it to me, I'll put it in the, the other great. camera here. So the back of the card says one, so that we're going to do questions number question number one. Oh, that's not so bad. Have you ever carved initials into a table or desk? So what you're first going to do yes. is secretly, in private... Vote yes or no to answer this question. So everybody takes a, a handful, a stack of these yes and no vote tokens. That okay. way nobody knows who's exactly voting what. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so, so we're just answering whether Answering, answering for truthfully ourselves? for yourself. Have okay. you ever carved your initials into a table or a desk? And then put that secretly put in, the ballot in the ballot box so nobody else knows. Okay. Whoops. Great. Okay. Okay. Now, on your dial, you are going to try and predict how many people said yes to this question. So obviously in this case it would be zero, one, two, or three. Okay. All right, how many people? All right, and then we've all got our vote dialed in? Yes. Yep. All right, we reveal. I put two. You put two, we all put, put two. two. All right, that. now let's find out who actually said yes. We have a no, uh-oh, oh. a no, <gasps> and a yes. So one of us admits that they have Carved their initials into a desk. I bet it was but it, I don't know. I was thinking it would. <laughs> I thought it would be for sure you. It wasn't me, or was it? That's the beauty of the game. Nobody has to ever reveal anything intimate unto themselves. But we all get to look around and try and guess who said Cast yes. Judgment upon who each other. Oh. <laughs> right. That's kind of fun. So, uh, and then anybody who correctly gets the answer is going to get two points. Everybody who's one off from the answer will get one point. So okay. we would all get one point in this case. Okay. Um, but you want to try and obviously of get course. it exact. Let's do, let's, let's do another one. Okay. All right. Let's find a... Uh, let's find something a little more fun. <laughs> okay. There you go. So what's the lock symbol on that one? Maybe? Uh, that says that the players get to choose whichever one they think uh. is the most racy. So, okay. Do you support the? Le oh, like oh. So you know what? We, the back of the card says fire. So, which of those you do you think is the most racy question? Or you just pick whichever one you like. Let's let's pick. Do you believe the use of nuclear weapons is ever justified? Okay. Let's get political in okay. this here. Okay. So we all choose to vote yes or no. Okay. Okay. And we put it. These in our are really box. questions Secret. that I have to think about for myself. Mm hmm Um. Okay. Secretly. All right. And then dial in your answer, yes. predicting how many people said yes. Okay. Sure. Okay. Ready? We'll reveal. I, I said none of them. Oh. put one. All right. I well, one also. let's see what we got here. We have a no, a no, and a... Oh, somebody here is a horrible, horrible person or thinks that the ends justify the mean in this case. <laughs> what? <laughs> So you guys would both get um, two points, and I would get one point because I was one off. And obviously, again, with more players and a really fun festive party environment, this can really have uh, some really interesting leading questions and in interesting conversation that stems oh, out of it. Uh, and you get some wildly <laughs> varying answers sometimes, especially with some of these more racy questions. So let's let's try and find just a couple. You want to do? Do you want me to do like a really edgy one? Sure, we'll do one really edgy one. Just you know. Okay. Leave the audience with something interesting. Right? Okay. We're all going to learn something here. about uh, ourselves maybe. in just a moment. Especially if it's like, oh, it's okay. We're going to be you know, discreet about it. It's like three S's. And it's like, okay. We're gonna <laughs> all right. How about, how about number four here? Number four. So this one is, would you chew food and feed your significant other like a bird if they needed it? <laughs> 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 All right, so everybody answer and answer honestly, oh but no, God. no, no judgment here because we don't know who's saying what. I'm not gonna peek. And then okay. let's see. Everybody predict how many people said yes oh to this God. fascinating question. Uh, 
All, All right. right. <laughs> Ready? Let's reveal. Yeah. One, two, three. I yeah. said one. I said two oh, of us. No, Just one not. of us. <laughs> I think you're much. All right. We're let's see. People than we are. We have. Oh. Okay. One of us is a disgusting, disgusting, or very supporting and nurturing <laughs> human being. I don't know how you want to judge it. So we would get two points. You would get one point. But we'd all have Aaron, a laugh. Haven't you and maybe birded Aaron before? No, it's disgusting. <laughs> That's really gross. That's not happening. That's what they make blenders for. It's, it's, there's always another way. So, the, so this is privacy. That oh, that is not a show is is the game, and I I uh, think you and all the viewers can imagine that, especially with a bigger group, uh, especially amongst people you know. Yes. Yeah. You know, you want to learn maybe some more interesting or intimate details, but in a way that never calls anybody out or puts anybody in the spotlight because I it's all done in the sake of privacy. I think that that makes the game a little bit more accessible because some of the games where you get really edgy or really racy, you end up outing things or it may sometimes people feel a little uncomfortable, so that nice kind of privacy veil makes this game a little bit more uh, accessible to maybe people you're not as comfortable with. And it mm -hmm. looks like the questions really do range from, mm -hmm. you know, questions that are pretty... Um, Tame. Yeah, to something that are, you know, a little bit more, uh, would I ever baby bird Aaron? Well, I, yeah. I saw yeah, one yeah, in there yeah. that was on that card of, did you ever fantasize about a celebrity even though they might have been underage? And oh, I was like, oh, yeah. that, that's, a, that's a racy one there. Uh, yep. Yeah. So I have to ask, how do you, how, where did the questions come from? Like, how do you develop those kinds of questions? Um, it, right. uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we, we kind of hold our office place internally and everybody got to submit their questions anonymously yeah, so yeah. you know nobody's gonna cast any judgment no. hey, just but just like we developed just like the, it, well <laughs> yes but just like you know the gameplay itself we didn't want to call anybody in the spotlight even though they had some you know more questions. yes um so we worked we had a really really kind of exhaustive list and we play tested a bunch of them to find out w just where the line was and where questions you know might have just made people a little too uncomfortable mm -hmm. um or ones that just felt too tame and like everybody said well yeah we all have done that kind of thing um but i think we struck a good balance and there is still is a range in there as well but it, it really it just i think sometimes people overlook it but like really good party games actually require a lot of play testing too even though at their core they're so simple like the mechanics of this are you know vote yes or no to a question predict how many people say yes or no right, right. but with the content it's that content that really drives the game right and and that's where we have to do a lot of play testing and hopefully find the right balance where there's just enough edginess and just enough fun so where can we find privacy? I privacy mean, is available <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> privacy will be available everywhere. Um, so you can go to your local game store, find it online, uh, just find it where you shop for your favorite uh, party games. Okay. And this okay. is uh, available now, and it is twenty-five dollars. So. Very good. There you go. Very cool. Andrew, thank you so much for stopping by. We really Absolutely. do appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Ton of fun. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, Andrew. And thank, thank all you. of you for watching at home. We're going to be bringing you some more coverage throughout the weekend here at Dice Tower Con 2018. But signing off for now, I'm Matt. I'm Ann. And I'm Andrew. <laughs> Have a good one, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Bye.